Hola chicas y chicos y hombres y mujeres. Me llamo Dario. Hello, hello. How are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? Um, I know. Well, maybe you don't know, but my Spanish isn't too swell. But I try so hard, okay? But no, seriously. Okay, so this morning, I was, actually that was yesterday. But this morning, I had dance class, and I had finally taken my hair out of my style, so it was down yesterday. But I, um, what did I do? I ended up putting a lot of pink lotion in it this morning. And from rubbing in it so much, I kind of wanted it back and out of my face. And also, we had to do a performance and dance today. So, I did a little cute thing. Since my hair is getting longer, I was like, let's see if I can work this out. And one, my hair kind of fits into a ponytail. <laughs> okay, okay. And then two, this style that I used to not really, used to not be able to do, I, I can kind of do now. But I, it actually got messed up during dance because I was swinging too much. And I had to fix it, didn't have a mirror, and I didn't realize that it wasn't looking so great for a little while. But at the beginning, it was really, really cute. So I'm going to redo that style. I just took my hair out of all the, everything just now. So what you're going to need, this is very, very, very easy. Literally takes like um, not long at all, like two minutes, not even that. So I have two bobby pins, a scrunchie. And if your hair is long, you really don't need a rubber band or the bobby pins long enough. But, and then I have this. If your hair is long enough, then you're just going to kind of, basically I'm going to get a ponytail with a bang. So if your hair is long enough, my bang kind of goes underneath. But you can just literally take your hair and maybe twist it at the very end, put it underneath, and then end up tucking it into your ponytail. If your hair stretches all the way back to here. Obviously mine. It's not going to stretch that far back. And if it does, it takes the entire lock. You will have room to do the bang and put the lock back, like if your hair is that long. But just watch, you know, you've if your hair is that long, you've had your hair for a while, so you can figure it out. Okay, so we start with the um, scrunchie, which some people also call hair ties, elastics, blah, blah, blah. I call it a scrunchie. But this one is like kind of loose and wobbly as you can see most of them are like literally this thick I don't have one on me right now to show you but this is one that I've used a while so it's gotten stretched out if your hair is longer you don't really have to worry about it but my hair is so short it doesn't really fit into a ponytail and hang enough so I like to get the longer one so that I can actually get the depiction of my hair hanging but really it's just a long ponytail so first you're going to section off the hair that you want to bang and I like mine to not be perfectly off to one side but um, kinda in the middle but over so get some hair and put that one back yeah okay so this is the section if you want to you can put your rubber band around it if you don't you can just just put it off to the side Okay, now you're going to take all the rest of this hair and put it back into a ponytail. If your hair is short like mine, hopefully you have this long ponytail and you kind of put it around and then pick pieces up just like you would do any other ponytail. Hold on, I got to show you the end product. See, this one is messing with me right now. It was staying earlier today, so I thought, I was like, oh my gosh, all my hair is in this ponytail holder. This is great because my hair is obviously getting longer because of this. But, nope, just kidding, not really. And what I kind of do is I, like, actually bring the ponytail, like, I don't know, I got to show you. Hold on. Let me do it first, and then I'll show you. Okay, this is what happened. It was my ponytail holder started sli sliding during the day, so then my locks started popping. So this is what it should look like. You see how it's like long, kind of like hanging? But instead of my ponytail just like being right here, it goes all the way down. Because what I do is I put my ponytail holder around, and then I like pull the hair and pull my ponytail up as far into my head as possible. If you can see like that. 
So I'm almost trying to get it to fit like a hairband. See how high it is up on my hair? And then you can fit more locks in there. You don't have to have it up too high. I don't want it to be like squeezing the back of your head and giving you a headache or anything, but just a reasonable amount to have it all in there. Okay, so now you're going to take this part of your hair. Try and get it as like in section as possible. And you're in it. And once again, like since you got hair from all directions, some locks are going to be shorter in this than others. So you can't put it at the very tip because you see. Um, like this lock pops out if I go too low so does this one so you gotta have it where I know they, these are like really short so you really gotta stretch them so that you can kinda get the rubber band around all of them or if not then try and tuck the the really short one in there somewhere so I had to put my rubber band right here in order to incorporate most of them and you see I still have some space there but it's fine and what I actually did you don't have to do it like this I might not end up doing it like this but I stuck the pin through the rubber band at least the first one the second one was kind of like a backup but this way if you put it in the rubber band then you'll be sure that you're not putting it through a lock or anything and you don't have to worry about getting it around a lock so you see it's just on the edge of the rubber band and what you're going to do is you're going to actually fold this over and then let me see. I need to get it like how it was this morning. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're just gonna literally tuck it under, and then just kind of stick your your um. Try and find a place to put your uh. What am I saying? <laughs> your bobby pin. And it's kind of hard because all the hair right there is going to be, you know, um, in this ponytail holder. So, but if you can get that, so it's going to be really loose, and then that's when you come in with this. And you kind of want to shape it like how you want it, and then try and like stick your pin in there to hold it in that shape. So, I don't really like the way that's sticking out, but here, I want it more like down. Hold on. And once again, it might be because. I'm putting this on the rubber band rather than the lock. Maybe that's not the best idea, blah, 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 whatever. Or maybe it's because I shouldn't be using this rubber band at all. So you can use a rubber band or you can, like, choose not to. And if anything, maybe twist this and then... Put it like that. And then pin it down. All right, there you go. So you can either use a rubber band or not. But if you don't use a rubber band, maybe come to the very end of your locks and kind of twist them so that they're together, and then tuck it under. And then you just pin it down. So then you have your ponytail, your simple ponytail. And then your little bang in the front. Okay, so that's a really quick but really cute um, style that you can do. If you have any locks that don't really reach your ponytail, just tuck them in somewhere. Okay, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time.